G'day everyone, James here with JWN Lawn Care and Landscaping bringing you another video. Welcome back to another video. Um, it's two days until my birthday now. Woo. Um, stuff is getting interesting here. But today I want to quickly talk about the new Honda. Um, now, look. Uh, it seems like there's some good feedback on my video I did buying this. Um, however, I received quite a bit of flack when I actually bought it. Uh, on a couple of groups I'm on, um, from some people who were saying it was, you know, a really shit mower and everything, didn't like it, shouldn't have bought it, it was a waste of money, take it back, everything else. Um, I just want to say, I mean, look, whenever you give advice to me, okay, um, I'm the kind of person, I'm always willing to learn, I'm always willing to grow, that's what I love doing. Um, but at the end of the day, if you tell me something, and I actually find a better way doing it or actually prefer the way you recommend against I'm still gonna do it sorry um so that's why I did it was recommended that I didn't buy this I bought it I mean by that time I bought it anyhow so it didn't really make a difference um and why 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 do I buy this a lot of you are probably thinking oh you got the you know you got the big 216 there you got the ride on why do you need this it's smaller right well first of all that Okay, <laughs> that probably looked awful, but this, guys, I need to lose that, okay? Um, and this being push, I gotta, you know, I gotta push it, I gotta work. Because the problem I have with that, I push the bar and I just walk along behind it. Even worse on the zero turn, I just, like, hand on lead it, same thing. I don't, I don't even walk on that thing. It just takes me around. So I've actually, I've noticed, I'll show you the more I started with, okay? Still in our shed here. It's an absolute bloody mess because we're redoing lots of stuff. Uh, lights on. Yes. There's a little Rockwell 16 inch pushy, right? That thing's a heavy bugger. Okay? But I started off just using that. My grandpa gave that to me. Oh, three years ago, four years ago. Still works. Still starts like a charm. Everything else, right? Can't fault it. Um, but it was just too heavy, okay? But I cut back a lot of weight using that machine. Since I've taken on the self-propelled and then the ride-on, I've put it back on. So this, hopefully going to help me take it off, okay? Part of that's my eating choices and so on, but, you know, unfortunately when you've got a life like I have um, that's just so much stuff going on, so busy, it's not always practical to, oh yes, let's take some, you know, plenty of time, make this nice fresh lunch or whatever, you know, it's just got to be whatever's quick, fast, on the way, you know, sort of thing, I don't have time to deviate off and do other stuff, um, when I'm out mowing, like, you know, I'm not able really to mow at all, so I actually went out and mowed with this for the first time the other day, uh, on Saturday, it's one day today, and, um, it's the first day, our last term, and, um, you know, like, we, we have hardly any time to go out and work, so when we're out there, it's not, oh, let's duck past home, or let's go find a nice, healthy place to eat or whatever, it's literally, you know, Hungry Jack's on the way, fine, stop there, or Burger King for our American and European friends, or Mac, it's on the way, stop there, that's that's what we have time for, we don't have time for anything else, um, so, yeah, I mean, look, it is what it is, okay, but I'm trying to use this to help burn that off, okay, I'm getting lots of steps up, I'm, you know, I'm doing weights and things, so I'm actually working at it, um, but the main reason I bought this was, for some of those really small places, this is actually so much better for manoeuvring around, our, like you can see our soil guys, it's terrible, okay, it's really sandy, soft sort of crap, and the grass is the same, um, it's very lightly held in, so like, if I turn that, like that's already tearing stuff up, you know, it's already tearing it out, if you did that on a normal lawn, it'd hardly do anything, but on this, 
it just tears it up. That's our soil. So when I'm turning that big 216 around and pushing in the, um, starting the driving gauge on a tight, small lawn with normally pretty moist, soft soil and equally soft grass and so on, it just, it kicks it out. It tears it up. Whereas this, I can turn around easily and I can keep pushing it at my own speed, start it off nice and slow so it doesn't tear the grass up. I actually mowed the property that that tearing up with the 216 happens on the most. It's one of my like two or three properties I actually push mow still. And this did so much better by a million miles. Um, that's why I love it. Because I can push it, I can get into those tight areas and also this is almost 30 kilos lighter than the 216. And it's... It's, it's narrower so I can actually lift this up and into the back of our ute a lot easier than I can with the 216. I can lift the 216. Uh, it's hard, but I can lift it. Um, whereas this, it's a lot easier for me. Um, so when I'm learning to drive, I've got an hour and 20 minutes up now, two days before my birthday when I can actually get my license. Woo, but I need 120 hours. <laughs> um, when I'm learning to drive, I can actually... If I can, we're not allowed to tow on our learner's permits here in Australia, so um, if I can fit this, a trimmer and a blower, in the back of the ute, I can drive that around, get my hours up. Oh, sorry, there's something on this. There we go. 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 Yep, good. Um, yeah, I can actually get my hours up driving to jobs. Um, whereas if, if I'm taking the bigger machines in the trailer and so on, I can't get those hours because um, Dad would have to drive. So... Yeah, that's one of the main reasons. I'm sorry about the wind, guys. Um, that's one of the main reasons I got this. But the other thing is also, think about um, what I'm trying to go into. And also, uh, dust as well, while I think of it. It gets really dusty in summer here. So this, I found it's helped a lot. And if you ask a lot of Aussie contractors, they'll say that this snorkel has actually helped a ton. But unfortunately, the newer models that have come in and just recently superseded these ones, they've removed the snorkel for emissions control, okay? Uh, they've changed the deck a little bit to make it a tad lighter and they've added the old style capture on and so on. Um, and they've changed the colour of this for some unknown reason and the colour of the starter rope too. Don't know why, but there you go. Um, so I went with this because it's it's got the snorkel, right? And it's got the Dacron bag, so it's... Same as the other one. I quite like these bags. Um, but also, think about what I'm doing. So, end of this year, start of next year, I'm going to be branching out into crews. Okay, I'm going to have other guys going out doing stuff for me. Now, this isn't to brag or anything, but I am very mechanically minded, okay? From a young age, I've been the one who looks at stuff, looks at different machinery and goes, oh, so if you do that, that makes this go, and then that... It just goes in my head, okay? A lot of other kids at school, they're way more sport talented. They're way more academically talented. They're way more musically talented than me. I am way more mechanically talented than most of my peers, okay? At school, that's that's the way it goes. Um, that's my strength. Uh, it's not everyone else's. From what I've seen, basically all of my guys that have helped me over time, uh, when they've come and I've said, right, use this, uh, they've been very confused. And I have to remind myself that not everyone actually thinks like I do because I automatically, even without using one of these ever, just first setting my eyes on it, I go, oh yeah, well that's how you start it, that's okay, well you got a choke position up there, so when you go to that, that must mean that it's in full throttle, and when you push it again, that's choke, and when you're down there, that's stop. Okay, what's this bar? Okay, so it must be, oh, look at that, that's your blade symbol, so you must have to push this down, oh, look at that. That actuates that in there. So when you push that down, do that, you must turn on your blades. When you let go, turns them off. That just all intuitively to me, right? I just, that's how I think. I, I look at any new machine basically, and I can pretty much happily operate it within about 30 seconds. Because it, it's just that I make those connections when I see it, where a lot of other people that I've had on especially don't. They'll, they'll be, you know, like my uncle. I got my uncle at my grandpa's place. We were mowing um, my grandparents' house. And I got him on the 216. And he was pushing it along like this. He had the drive bar engaged, but he didn't have the blades on. Because he just did that. And he thought they were on. And I'm like, no, you've got to actually like that. Right? He, he didn't even realise the blades weren't on. Whereas for me, that stuff works better. So, 
as I'm starting to branch out, I might end up with five or ten push mowers eventually in my fleet, guys. So what I want to make sure is that I'm trying to keep everything streamlined, everything simple, everything the same. So you can easily switch from one to another with very minimal change. Okay? The only real difference between this and the 216 is no self-drive on this and two inches smaller deck. Okay, that's that. In terms of your main things you need to consider, that's about it. N none of the other stuff really is going to play that much of, of a difference. Yes, I believe there is a small difference in the cut heights, right? And it's on the left instead of the right. Um, yes, there's a, I think a slightly smaller catcher bag. But other than that, everything else is the same. No, there's no bull bar on the front. But again, apart from your, all your basic functions are the same. So why I don't want it, and any, anyone who runs Cruise will tell you this, they'll have basically all the same brand for equipment, which is why I'm trying to slowly transition to all still handhelds or Bush Ranger, um, because I'm looking at some of their stuff now as well. It's pretty good, and Rob sells that, so I may end up with a bunch of Bush Ranger. Um, I don't know how they'll work. I might end up with all Bush Ranger push mowers too, I'm not sure. But at the moment, the way we're going is still handhelds, Honda push mowers, and I'll sort out the ride-ons later, okay? Um, with these, so what you don't want when you're running crews and you've got lots of people working for you is to have to say, oh, okay, so on this push mower, you've got to hold this um, engine brake bar in when you're starting it, and then when you let go, it turns the whole thing off. But now on this model, you've actually got to push, you, you start the engine with the bla with the lever out, and then when you want to engage your blades, you push that down and push that in. And on in this one, this Husqvarna model, you've actually got to push that little button there and then pull the handle in like that, and then your self-drive lever's here. And then on the Toro one, you've just got an engine brake lever here. And then on the other Toro commercial, you've got a double bail thing under here, so you've got to push it like that to engage. And then on this mass board, we don't have any of that crap at all. We've just got throttle and self-drive bar it's like all your crew guys unless they're thinking like me they're gonna go excuse me can you explain that again please because they just they won't get it it's gonna be too complex too complicated so for the for the ease of parts and the ease of you know the people using these things on this one okay so you start this it's got a blade break Oh, you want to use that one? It's got a blade break. Your height adjuster, pretty much the same. Pretty much the same. Okay, we need to replace the bag. All right, this one's got a Dacron bag. That one's got a Dacron bag too. We know how to use those. We know how to switch those if the guys are doing maintenance. We know how to put a Dacron bag together, okay? If we get a replacement one into replace a damaged one. Um, if the air filter breaks, okay, so we know how, we've, we can just order all these same air filter assemblies because it's the same engine on both machines and it's the same air filter thing, okay? Um, same petrol tanks, sa same wheels. There's a lot of similar stuff in them so that I'm not having to teach all these guys a whole pile of different ways for each machine that's just going to make it complex and hard out in the field, okay? Because then they're going to be standing there for half the time you could have actually been doing the job going, oh, do I have to hold this one? Oh, how's this one go again, Greg? Oh, you have to do that. Oh, shit, no, no, this one's not staying. Oh, no, you got to hold the lever now, oh, dumbass. Oh, no. It gets too confusing, okay? As a solo operator, it doesn't really matter. I can have 50 rounds of equipment. I'll figure out how to all use them pretty quick smart, and I'll be fine. But when you've got crews, you just want everything the same. Um, so that's why I bought this one as opposed to the other ones. It's just so much simpler. Um, you know, everything... Oops, sorry. Everything about it is very akin to the 216. So it's going to be easy for guys to transition from using this one. They can then put that in the trailer and go, right, I know how to use that one as well. Um, another thing I've done quickly, when your dealer sells these, they normally have the starter handle on the outside here um, with this little bit. But I actually, on the recommendation of one of my mates, I actually switched it onto the inside, which is a pretty smart idea. I'm going to do it on the 216 as well, I think, because... Instead of having it stick out here where it can get caught on branches or trees or anything like that or hedges um, Yes, yeah, so it, it feels like it's slightly more natural to me probably just because I've been doing it for so long on the 216 To reach out here and pull but honestly reaching in there and just having that bar there It's still 
it's still a lot easier. Now, as to the performance of this machine, because uh, a lot of guys will say, oh, no, don't buy it at Malt. Um, engine doesn't work it well enough. It catches terrible and everything. Okay, so I went, and honestly, I gave this thing the shits. Like, um, first job that it's ever officially done, for customer base speaking, on the weekend, I took it into, like, tall grass. Um, it wasn't overly tall. It was probably only that tall, maybe. But it was a decent amount of growth on a reasonably thick lawn. And I thought, oh, for these guys, family, friends, uh, I'll, um, I'll bag it. I, I took the mulch plug out and bagged it, and it had zero problems. Like, I, I opened, I took the catcher out to empty it, and I was expecting to see often, like, while I'm doing wet and um, thick or long lawns on the 216, bits of grass kind of mass up and go around the discharge chute. Um, but not, not on this one. Nope, there wasn't even a blade of grass in it. And there was, yeah, it was a bit damp. It was long. It was thick. Um, so, like, honestly, I don't really care about if this... Because it does, okay? I'll be perfectly honest. It does have a narrow chute. But realistically speaking, there's your chute. It's kind of proportional. Um, like the 216 has a narrower chute as well. It doesn't have a full width chute on that machine. Um, neither does this one. So they're both kind of proportional in terms of the deck size. If you think about it. And yeah, this doesn't plug up at all. But if you look at how I've got this. So I've got the bag on and the mulch plug in there. So my default is always mulching. I'm not the kind of person that um, catches by default. And then if a lawn needs to be mulched, I'll get the mulch plug out and put it in. I'm the kind of person that I mulched the lawn. And if it must be caught, you better have a bloody good reason as to why you want it to be caught. I will take the mulch plug out, leave it there, and catch the lawn. And then as soon as I'm done catching the lawn, mulch plug goes straight back in. Right? Now, not only does that um, help me, like, stop me from losing it, um, it also means that, yeah, that's my default. My default is mulching. Right? So, that doesn't bother me. This, probably, this has seen one catch a load of grass go through it. Not even a full catch a load. Like half a catch a load of grass in it. Okay, I only did like a small nature strip. The rest I did with the 216. And to be honest, I gotta say, this thing with two blades, because I just realised the other day this only has two blades on the base plate. Uh, the 216 has four. Um, this mulched better, I reckon. I don't know, maybe it's because it's got brand new blades. Whereas that one's only got newish blades. I still only replaced those not long ago though. This mulched better, I reckon, than the 216. So overall, I'm really happy with it so far. I have zero complaints. I haven't adjusted the revs on this at all. I'll start it up for you. Like, you don't even need to choke these things half the time. This hasn't been started since, what, early yesterday? Well, maybe it does need a bit of choke. It's been quite cold. I'll just see parts of this. No, okay, let's choke it. But even that. So easy. That's the standard revs on this, right? That's all it goes up to. That is full throttle, guys. Right? It's pretty quiet. Uh, and honestly, even in that taller stuff, this thing hardly bogged down at all. I was really impressed. I'll show you. And that clutch as well. Really nice and um, really nice and strong too. Even on idle, it does not engage. Okay, I've been waiting for it to do that. A couple of times before, it actually has engaged at idle, where the 216, it stalls out if you do that. Um, but yeah, no, that's, that's how that is. It's really quiet. Um, and yeah, I, I can't fault it, guys. I really can't. So this machine... I reckon is actually going to end up doing the majority of my push mow work from now on, I'm hoping. Um, because, yeah, the 216, it's a lovely... Like, no, how many hours has this thing got now? 75.9, I think that is. Is it? 75.9 hours. Um, plus another 8 from the original owner. Yeah. It's, um... It's done a decent amount of work. It still goes. I love it. But, for most lawns, this thing will suffice perfectly fine. Now, here's the thing, right? 
I like to try stuff and test stuff. If it turns out that some of these other guys that were saying it's crap were right, and it is crap, I'll get rid of it. Whether I take it back or whether I sell it, I don't really care. Either way, I'll get rid of it and I'll buy a different one, okay, if that works. If, if that's going to be the best decision for my business, I will do that. I've got no problems in doing it at all. I want to make that very clear. But for the moment, this thing has not only met, but it has exceeded my expectations in terms of what it is. So this thing ain't going anywhere uh, for, for the moment. I'm loving it. So, you know, yeah, that's what I've got to say. Now, once I've, I've got an hour meter on the way for it, um, once I get some hours up on it, I've probably only done about an hour and a bit's worth of work on it. So this is really just an initial impressions video. Uh, it's not a full review. Um, once I've got kind of 25 hours on it or so, I might compare it with the Honda, the 216. Um, and yeah, that's all i got to say. I'm really impressed with it. Let me know if you've got one of these at home, if you like it. Um, yeah, I just, you know, I can't fault it in any way, really. It's Yes, it's heavy for a push mower, but it's the way it rolls, it's just so smooth, you know? Like, it just, it really, I push this effortlessly, honestly. I, I There is very little resistance in it when I push it, even up, like, slopes and stuff. So, yeah, no complaints from me. Let me know what you think. Um, let me know any names. Um, and, yeah. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.